All right, here we are, the day has arrived. We are going to start bagging my car. Uh, probably gonna be like a two-part video because it's not a fast or an easy process to bag your car. So just hang on for the ride, enjoy it. I know you like it in the end. So here is part one of part two. Let's get into the intro. Okay guys, so uh, here we are at the back of my car. I was just prepping my tank for install. You got your fill, you got to your manifold, you got your drain and fill pitcock, and then there's your water separator. You don't have to do it this exact way, you can do it however you want as long as everything is plugged and safe. And uh, don't, don't skimp on this, take your time, get it well sealed. You know, tape everything, make sure it's all good, because you don't want to get it set in there, put it, put air in it, and then boom, you're done. It's leaking, so you got to take all this shit apart and fix it, and it's not fun, especially once I get it all mounted up here. I hope to God everything doesn't leak. So, with my kit, I'm going to set everything as close to center right here as I can. So once you get something eyeballed, Go ahead and uh, pick a spot. Every car is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to have to move this light. <clears throat> and yeah, once I get it somewhere where I want, I'm going to start measuring. And you know, you can measure any way you'd like. Tape measure, you know, everybody's got a different plan. So I am going to start on that. Here we go. What I did there was just uh, I pre drilled the four holes through my screws because I'm not putting they give you nuts and bolts to use, and I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use self tappers. So I just pre drilled them, make it a little bit easier because I don't have a lot of room between the tank and the bracket to actually get in there and work. So, uh, see how the first lineup went. I'll recommend another set of hands to do this because this is fucking hard. Whoops. Okay, so that's uh, that's not working. I'm gonna change how I'm doing this. I'm going to remove this top deck and uh, see that works a little bit better. So once I get that off, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so the plans have changed yet again. I had to remove this backing on the Evo. Just held them by four little push clips on the side. Basic enough, I don't need to tell you about that. That came out of the back wall right there. And I'm changing what I'm gonna be using. I'm using the supplied hardware. Two washers, locking nut, 9 16 bolt. Okay. Then on the inside here, I had to remove this top deck so I can get through and start uh, running the nuts and bolts. And that was just this panel on top here. And it's got a couple pop clips in the front, and then uh, remove your seat pillars, like so, and then uh, pull. Don't be scared. So, now, let's get back into doing this the right way. Okay, after a little encouragement, everything lines up good. So now I'm just gonna bolt them down tight, and we'll go on from there. So that was a huge pain in the ass. Hope I never have to deal with that again. If this thing leaks, I don't know what I'm gonna do because that sucked. But she is in. Sorry about the glare out of the window there. If I can fix that for you. Okay, tank is in. Tank is mounted. 
A little limit in our room here because this little valve that you're probably not going to see because this glare. I'm going to have to relocate this light because it was in my way. So all right guys, on to the compressor. And here we are. Vi Air or VI Air, I don't know how they say it exactly. Air compressor comes with the kit. Like I said, I moved the feet on it. So it'll sit a little bit different. And then, to get my spot figured out, I'm just gonna use self tappers and tap it to the car. This is the backing panel between my trunk and the back seat I took out earlier in the video. And I'm going to be mounting the air management to this, running my lines down through the plastic and to where they need to be. Something to look clean, something to look nice. And how I'm doing that, I got rubber grommets that fit the hose. I'm going to be drilling those out with these step up screws, or these bits. You can get them like any hardware store. I taped off where I want to stop so I don't end up drilling something too big. And uh, yeah, I guess let's get to her. So here it is guys, all finished up, got my uh, holes and grommets all drilled and ran through, ready to go. Looking pretty good, pretty happy with it. And that's where it'll sit in the car. So got my compressor going behind this backing, coming out in this corner going to the tank. I got from my tank here to the air management system. I'll go into the back, it'll be coming through here. So when the whole thing's done, I'll have lines poking through here from the back, going to the management, I think it'll look pretty good. We got this little guy over there, that's for my drain, off your water separator. So all right, uh, let's get back into the trunk. So here we are, back in the trunk. What I'm gonna do now is run what lines I can for what I have set up so far. So I'm um, taking along with that. Make sure to use the supplied cutter that you get so you don't end up pinching your lines and having a leak because nobody wants that. Here we go.
Okay, so what I did here, guys, is uh, ran the compressor line. Right there, it goes back through the wall, comes behind, and goes right in there. You're not going to be able to see it very well. And then I ran the, uh, the tank feed line from the back of the tank through the wall, back around there, and it comes up through here. It goes into the management, which isn't screwed in all the way. And then the other line there, just an exhaust line. And I found out that Airlift doesn't give you a ton of the tiny quarter inch line. So I need to buy more for my drain. Because I used all of it up here on the top. Going around there, behind the subwoofer. Over here to the pressure relief. And the fill line. So, on from here, we're going to go and I'll start explaining the wiring. See you there. All right guys, so as far as the wiring goes, wiring's pretty easy too. Nothing crazy, positive, negative, ignition source. Um, if you got all that, you can definitely do this. Um, in my car, it's actually very easy because I got lucky and my battery is in the trunk. So all the wiring does not have to go far. And for my ignition wire, I ran it, or I'm going to run it, into my fuel pump power. I looked it up, everybody says it's okay, Airlift says it's okay, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, your main harness here, that's what's gonna get plugged in to the system to run everything. When you're working on it, do not plug it in, even though there's no fuses or anything, just don't risk it. Set it where you'll have enough slack to use it. Go from there. So from this point, I'm coming back through the car, running the power, positive and negative, over to the battery. And I'm going to hook up to the battery right there. Separated the ignition wire, ran it over. I'm going to tuck it under that carpet once I'm ready to roll. And then wire it into the blue wire on my car. Um, from there, oh, and then the, uh, the remote control wire, I'm going to pull the trim. I'm gonna pull the trim on my car and just run it along the passenger side and put it in my glove box for now. I'm not gonna go through that because that's pretty self-explanatory. Pull up the clips, tuck it in the carpet, put the clips back on, boom, you got it. So, uh, all right, let's get to it, guys. All right, people, so that is it. That is part one of the install. Part two will be coming up in a couple days when I do all the fun editing and that stuff that you never get to see. So went pretty smooth. Thanks for sticking along with the video. Subscribe to my channel. As always, put your thumb down and thumb up. Catch you on part two.